Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles of the great millstone. Peace and blessings also to the hopefully elect tabernacle of David. Listen to learning, diligently laboring in his truth and all righteousness and sincerity. It's the brother is already back once more with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And as you just seen in this video here that I played, the opening clip, <clears throat> you got this six year old child rapping about. I want to delete my mom. I want to delete my dad. I want to delete my grandma. He told me to go to sleep, so I want to delete him, right? And this is the, you see, we are in the last of the last days. And this is what brothers continue to, you know, this is why we continue to sound the alarm. Because at the end of the day, for for, for all you Israelites out there, that they, they, especially that they, they watch these videos that watch the prophets. All right, y'all not going to have no excuse as to why you didn't repent. See, and, and, and you know, niggas like this, you know, the child, I mean, he's just six years old. He don't know no better. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just what he was taught. That's like, you know what I'm saying? That's how he was raised, you know? But for this nigga right here, I guess, I guess that's the, I guess uh, this the guy that, that he signed to. I mean, he's he's responsible for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, how is it that you have a six year old child? You know, on and then mind you, this is crazy. Like, this is on YouTube, right? And and this is up on YouTube, but our videos. You know, brothers that do lessons teach the Bible, our lessons are, are, are being taken down. You know, our channels are being deleted. Matter of fact, I've been trying to upload for the past three days now, and none of my videos have been going through. I don't know if this is going to go through, but, you know, just to put it out there, the, the, you know, the famine of the word is, 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 is already here. You see, they don't want the truth to... to, to go out to go forth this is what they want to push see this is what they want people's minds to be exposed to just complete folly and you know wickedness man this this is what they want to raise the next generation on you know and men such as myself and you know the elders and the apostles you know they don't want people like us to exist in this uh you know new world order in this new beast system because we're contrary to the ways of this world but yeah, and you wonder why the Most High sent the flood at the time of Noah. You, you know, you wonder why. Well, well, you see why. You see, because this is the exact same type of thing that was going on in the days of Noah. All right, did then the Lord say that, that as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when, when you know, uh, the the Son of the Most High comes back. Relatively paraphrasing. The Lord said that. So it's, it's going to be the, the same exact thing that was going on in Noah's time. It's going to be happening today. And this is one of those things. Just complete all out rebellion against order. You know, you got children saying that they want to delete they, they, they moms, their father, their whole family. All right. You got, uh, you got, you got men transforming into women, vice versa, you know? You got wicked laws on the books that, that 
uh, pretty much doing away with with all righteousness. Any anything that has to do with the Bible, they actually want to rewrite the Bible. They they really what they want to do is just completely do away with the Bible. But they want to rewrite it <laughs> in such a way as, as as to where you know they can push their narrative. So once again, it's, it's all out rebellion upon the planet Earth. And this is why the Most High must destroy this place, man. All right, because the people that, that are here are just completely gone, finished, through. Now, when you look at the comments, you know, when, when uh, you look at what people are saying in the comments, it says, this guy was like, there's kids out here actually feeling exactly what he's rapping about. Listening to this on Mother's Day is crazy. That beat go crazy. And see, you know, he talking about the beat. What about what he's saying, though? And really, to be honest with you, like, the beat is trash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the, like, the beat is not even, the beat is trash. Why does this beat hit hard? They go and bring this up in court when he fighting that murder charge. See, delete my mom. Made me giggle. So people think that this is funny you know it really is like one person he, he said uh with nina honestly i feel it's truly sad to see how the music industry is using children to send this horrific message as if it's somewhat something to be proud of i pray god's will over his life now <laughs> you got people that think that this is funny this dude is like it's a joke cry harder see so like, hey, look, like I said, the the people of this world are finished, man. All right. There there is no sense of morality. You see, every you know, everyone's mind is just pretty much just into all out wickedness, just 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 evil continually. You know, you even got the six year old. You know, a six year old child pushing that vibration now. What do you think he's going to be when, when, when he gets to be his his age? He's going to be even more of a demon. <laughs> he's going to be even more wicked than this nigga right here. You see? So, yeah, you know, Yahweh Bashimah was shot must bring fire and judgment to this place. And you see stories of kids getting deleted and, and, you know, people that were otherwise you would think would, would be innocent. The, oh, you know, is he he was just a child. He was just a baby. Well, no. See, the scriptures tell you whosoever perished being innocent. And where were the righteous cut off? Matter of fact, let me let me just get that real quick. I was in Genesis, but let me go to Job 4 real quick. And just get that to prove what I'm saying. All right, Job 4. In six, it says, Is not this thy fear, thy confidence, thy hope, and the uprightness of thy ways? Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished, being innocent, where were the righteous cut off? Verse eight, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. See, so those that work, all right, because when you put your hand to the plow, that that basically goes into your works, your 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 labor. All right, so these, the, you know, the people of this world, they have labored in iniquity and sin pretty much. And so wickedness. So, if, you know, don't the scriptures say whatsoever a man sow, so that shall he also reap. So if you sow wickedness and iniquity, guess what? You're going to reap the same, which is ultimately what? The wages of sin is what? Death. See, so you must reap what you have sown, man. Right? All right, that's what's coming for, for these people. Fire and judgment. By the blast of Yahweh they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. See? <laughs> so, hey, the, it, you know, the people of this world, they're going to be consumed by Yahweh by Shemel by fire. Because this is the wickedness that, that's, that's happened, that, that's going on. And really, no one has a problem with it. And I made a point earlier that this is on YouTube, but yet the men that's actually teaching righteousness is actually trying to get people... To turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, our videos are, you know, uh, shadow ban. We can't upload. Or if we do upload, they'll distort the video. <laughs> you see, so that, that should tell you uh, who who's in control of this world. All right, it should tell you that the devil, Satan, is in control of this world. All right.
and and who is coming after the working Satan? Well, none other than the so-called white man, which is known as Esau, Edom, according to the Bible. <clears throat> so let's go to Genesis 6 now. Genesis 6 and 5, and it says, And Yahweh saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And that's where we at now. The thoughts of men's hearts are only evil. See, people don't walk around out really outside of the elect. Outside of, you know, the the men, women, and children that have repented and turned back to the Lord in truth and sincerity. Outside of us, the world is is engulfed in complete darkness. The scriptures tell you that men love darkness rather than light. So these people are walking around groping in darkness. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know where they're going. But they think that they're in a good case. But little do they know. <laughs> See, little do they know what's about to happen on the earth. See, it's going to be all out hell for these people. And guess what? These people deserve it, man. You know, these people deserve everything that's coming to them because ultimately, you know, they're going to be recompensed for their ways. Understand? Because at this point now, everyone has been made aware of the truth. All right. Everyone knows about the Israelites. Everyone knows about Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Everyone knows about the Bible. Okay. Even let, you know, let's just say if you don't know about the Israelites. Well, you know about the Bible. You know about God, as the world says, Jesus, Jesus the Christ, right? You, you know about that. So at the end of the day, there is no excuse. See, and people have a rude awakening coming to them. Uh, verse 6, And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I, whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing. And the fowls of the air for it repented me that I have made them. Now why was the... Now why really... Did, did the Lord send the flood? He sent the flood because all creation upon earth had been corrupted. All creation. That's why he said both man, beast, the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air. See, everything was corrupt. <laughs> you see, and, and, and who forwarded that corruption? Man. All right, really, when you go into it, the descendants of Cain. See, that was, you know, uh, Esau is, is nothing more than Cain. The spirit of Cain come back after the flood, and these people are doing the same thing today. They're 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 destroying the earth. They're pushing a very wicked vibration, promoting wickedness, and just evil all across the earth. See, uh, verse eleven says the earth also was corrupt before Yahweh, and the earth was filled with violence. And we're seeing violence at an all time high. And the thing is, it's only going to get worse. People ain't seen that yet. You know, people are already stressed out. They 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 they're anxious. They're afraid. You know what I'm saying? So, hey man, violence, death. You about to see it on a scale you've never seen it before. Like it's really about to be war out in these streets. And then they talking about you know blackouts, cyber attacks are are, are coming. All right, food. Uh, you know, food is about to run out. So how much more so then? And Yahweh looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. Now, let's go to this video here, and we can close out on this. All right, just another example of why the Lord must destroy two-thirds of wicked Israelite niggas. Okay? This is this is the prime example right here. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Let me, let me play it. Let's check this out. Yo, excuse me, guys. Um, I'm trying to get something to eat. Do you think you might be spare change by any chance? If you could, it'd be a blessing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. What's your name? My name is Fanya. Fanya, I'm Trey. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, guys. I just want to say thank you so much for giving me that food. I want to give you this rock. <laughs> now, if you didn't give me any money to get food, I would have bashed both your skulls in with that rock. But I want to say... Life's about choices. And you made a valuable choice and the correct choice. You decided to spare money for that meal and I decided to spare your lives. Oh, what are you talking about? 
talking about, bro? Spend my you guys life are super what? sweet. Are you sweet. fucking serious? <laughs> bro, get your shit in bounds. You guys are really sweet, you know? Don't fucking talk I appreciate like that. that. How dare you, bro? Thank you. Please but you're lucky. Fucking kind gesture to buy yeah. you something and that's what you want? You want to get hit with the fuck? Fuck you, I'll take you. I, I know you're not complaining about that, but you're a big ass. Domestic yeah, violence. Your wife. You're abusive. You're abusive, fool. <laughs> and that wicked laugh at the end. You see, but this is what's being permeated now in the earth. Just complete folly. It, it's just all out wickedness. There it is, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think that's the same Jake that said that he was going to buy a Baconator, which that's 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 wicked as hell, you know, trying to buy a Baconator for uh, a homeless man. Then then he came back, and pretty much he just ate the meal right in front of the homeless dude. He, he didn't give him a fry, he didn't give him a piece of the burger, nothing. He just ate, just straight ate it right in front of him. I believe that's that same nigga. But if it is, hey, look, the Lord going to kill that nigga right there, all right? The Lord is going to destroy that nigga because that's a very, you know, wicked and perverse spirit. You know, out here like that. that listen, that nigga right there is a complete demon, all right? Here it is. You you, you know, you, you, you ask random strangers that don't know you for food and they oblige. You know, out of the kindness of their heart to, to give you something. You know, you you could you could tell that they was decent people, you know. You could tell that they was decent people, which, you know, shows you that they was the fact the fact that they even buy your wicked ass something. You know, but they they get you the food, you come back and you put a rock on the table and tell them that they lucky that they got you food and if they didn't, then you would have bashed both their heads in with the rock now. If he would have caught the right one on, on, on the right day, his ass would have got deleted straight up. Like, that's a threat. And he wouldn't have been wrong for getting deleted neither. Because pretty much, if someone threatens your life, then, hey, you got the right to, to defend yourself. You know? But like I said, he ain't come across the right one. You know, dude didn't even, you know, really do nothing to him. You know? But that's some coward stuff anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, them people, you know, them people wasn't, they didn't want no problems with you, man. You know what I'm saying? They was just trying to help you out. Now, he wouldn't have gone in, in a, <laughs> you know, gangbanging territory and tried that because he already know what the outcome would have been. So, this, you know, this, this, is, this is what it is now, you know? This is what's on social media. Let me go to Isaiah. 66. Hey, man, look, the Lord going to bring that fire. All right, and destroy two thirds of wicked Israelites and the heathen. All right, and it's well deserved. Isaiah, let me, let me, let me start at 14. It says, And when you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb. And the hand of the Lord shall be known toward his servants, and his indignation toward his enemies. Verse 15 For behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So the first world was destroyed by water, a flood. The second world that we're currently in right now, hey, the Lord is going to cleanse this with fire. All right. It says he's coming to, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. All right. So that includes the heathen. That includes, uh, you know, the heathen and two thirds of our people, all right, that have not repented, all right, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. See that? So, hey, it is, you know, it is what it is. And when these things come to pass, hey, look, brothers is not going to feel bad, all right, because these people have wearied themselves. In the ways of wickedness, but in the ways of righteousness, they, they didn't consider. See? So this really was a lesson just, just going into, you know, showing you that truly the days that we're currently in right now, this is the end of the end. You know, you know this, this really is the end of all flesh, man. You know, the Lord, and you know, really, this should make you even more grateful to have and 
know this truth and to really be living in this thing because just just look at how the people in in the world are you already know what's coming to them they don't have no hope and when the ish hits the fan and people lose their mind over food and shelter and material possessions Hey, the judgment, hey, look, the scriptures already tell you it's, it's going to be a time that has never been seen before and after shall never be seen again. So this is going to be unprecedented tribulation that's going to come upon the earth. And these are the type of niggas that you got out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That really are going to be used as spirits of vengeance to, to take people out. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. Hopefully. This was edifying and informative to the hopefully elect. We close and call the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Kadash. And until next time, Shalom to the elect, Yahshua DTA, and Ababa Ball. Shalom.